everyone. Well, I don't know where you're gonna be watching this. It could be morning, it could be afternoon, it could be night. But we are back with another video. <laughs> and I guess, <laughs> I'm sure you guys already know what's gonna be happening in this video. I have mommy! Cook with mama! <laughs> and my mom's going to be explaining what we're gonna be cooking today. Today we are going to make uh, egg rolls, okay? So those of you who want to learn how to make egg rolls, I am going to show you how, step by step, how to make Asian Cambodian egg rolls. And the ingredients you'll get to see in a few minutes. However, I just want to let you know, with the egg rolls, whatever you want to put in, meat, vegetables, whatever it is that your heart desire to put in, you can put them in, okay? So I'm gonna just show you some of the basic uh, ingredients that you will need, okay, so that you can learn how to make them at home, at the comfort of your own home, okay? So we'll do that right now. All right, guys, if you're new to this channel, you already know my name is Shantavi. And if you're not already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up down below and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. So let's get on with okay. the video. Hi, um, it's me again. So I just want to let you know <clears throat> to prepare for this egg rolls, you need the following things. Okay, this type of noodle is the vermicelli noodles or thread noodles. What it is, it comes in a bag and it's hard. You have to soak it in water, of course, in hot or lukewarm water about five minutes and then this noodle that you see here, it will become softened and then you'll have to cut them into, you know, uh, shorter uh, pieces. Then you have the taro. With the taro is that you can substitute the taro with potatoes, whatever potatoes you want, but I prefer the taro. What you need to do, you're gonna have to peel it and then shred it, okay? And then we have this black mushroom. You don't have to put it, but I usually put in my egg rolls. What you need to do, you're gonna have to take some of, like half a bag of it, and then soak it in hot water so that these uh, little, because they already shredded, cut it already for you, all you have to do is just soak it in hot water, okay? And then of course, I have the cabbage here. I'm gonna just use only half of cabbage. You have to shred the cabbage or, you know, um, cut it into small, thin slices, okay, or dice them. Then we have the onions. Uh, you know, some people, they prefer to put more onions. However, I only use two. And plus, I don't like cutting onions, okay? And then for the pork, I bought the grounded pork already that's you know already done from the store so I used to ground it pork some people they put imitation crab meats and that's fine too what I'm going to do as well I'm gonna put tofu in place of this for um, Calton because he likes you know uh, he's a vegetarian or vegan so I'm gonna substitute the pork and one bowl for him so that I can roll the egg rolls with the tofu with all the ingredients in except no pork for him but the tofu okay so we're gonna do this together I'll show you you know step by step how to slice dice or shred whatever it is so that you can prepare your egg roll because you have to put every ingredients into a bowl and also I just want to let you know hold on with the grounded pork I'm going to cook the pork first before I put it into my bowl. However, some people, they like the raw pork when, you know, to put into the ingredients and then fry them. But for me, safety reasons, I like to cook my pork first and then I take the ground, cooked grounded pork and then put into all of my ingredients and roll them. However you prefer, but I like to make sure that my pork is cooked just in case when you fry it, uh, the pork is not fried when you fry your egg rolls and then, you know, People might get sick and you don't want that. So that's me. Use a treader. Um, I like the, this one here. It's easy that way. And if you have kids, you know, and you want to teach them cooking, you can actually have them do the treading. I know usually I have my little daughter, Jassy, Jasmine. Uh, she would do the treading for me, but today she has to study for her organic chemistry class. 
So that's why she's upstairs studying for her exam. Because she's taking summer classes at the moment. So just thread it. Okay, so far we have a lot. But I want to put, you know, half of what of the tarot that you saw earlier. I'm going to keep the other half to make dessert later for my husband. Because I realize this is a lot. Okay, so we don't need a lot. Okay. Again, if you have, you know, friends, family over, and, you know, um, having egg rolls in hand, meaning in your freezers, to fry, to serve to them, it's a great idea because, you know, it's easy because the um, egg rolls you could store in the freezer for weeks or maybe a couple months, okay? As long as you have that in the freezer, you can fry to serve as appetizer or snack for your family or for your friends. My apron today is kind of colorful. This apron, I got it from my sister, Rebecca. She gave it to me during Christmas time this year. Uh, so <laughs> I made sure that I wear, because usually I wear my black aprons that I have. I have two black aprons and this is a colorful one that she gave to me. So thank you, Reb. You know, when you're treading the, <clears throat> the tarot, just like a potato, you know, like I said, if you don't want or can't find your tarot at the store, you can replace it with potato, the white potato that we use all the time for baking and stuff like that. Or to make mashed potato, you can use that as well. And I know um, usually I would put carrots, but this time I didn't want to put carrots. Okay. Like I said earlier, with, uh, with egg rolls, you can put anything you want um, in there. But I just wanted to know, don't put bean sprout. Uh, even though bean sprout tastes really good, and it does. Uh, if you put bean sprout, believe it or not, uh, when you fry it, it's going to go uh, soggy. And you don't want it to be soggy. But if you plan to eat it right away and not store it in the freezer, don't use um, bean sprouts. If you plan to store your egg rolls, your leftover egg rolls in the freezers for later use or later frying, then don't use bean sprout. Other half, I'm gonna keep it to make dessert later for my husband like today. Okay, here's the noodles that I showed you earlier. It was hard, but now when you soak it in water, it's just like that. And the strand itself, very, very long. So what I do with my, clear thread noodles or vermicelli's noodle, I cut, I like to just cut them, okay? Because this will go into your egg rolls. And when this noodle fried and cooked, it's uh, become very clear and very, very soft. And it's one of the good thing in, uh, ingredients in the egg roll. So, okay? Again, we have the clear, thin thread noodles or vermicelli. Okay, just cut it. See now. Okay, so you're gonna need this noodle inside your egg roll. You're gonna put all the ingredients together in a minute. Here's the black fungus um, or black mushrooms that I showed you earlier. It was dry, but now when I soak it in water, hot water, it is soft. And yes, I will put this, we will put this in our egg rolls um, to roll together. This, we call it um, And for us, if you translate it in Cambodia, it would be mouse ear mushroom, okay? Here's a tofu for uh, people who are vegan or vegetarian. Instead of the ground pork, I'm going to put the tofu in place of the grounded pork for so my vegetarian people so uh, what I'm doing is that these are the fried tofus that I fried earlier um, this is for the people who do not eat meat so in substitutions of pork or any other kind of meat you could use tofu so what you do the reason why you have to fry it first is this tofu if you put in the freezer it becomes like a sponge 
and it's not good anymore. The texture of the tofu is not good anymore. So you want to cook it first before you put into your egg roll so that the texture does not become like sponge. So um, I learned that because uh, a long time ago I bought tofu and I thought, hey, let me just save some tofu in the freezer. Uh, but lo and behold, what I have found is that uh, when you put the tofu in the freezer without cooking, it becomes brittle and it looks just like sponge and the texture is not good anymore for you to cook and you will waste or ruin your tofu and you won't be able to cook and eat it anymore so what you do is that you want to fry your tofu uh, in okay before you put in the freezer however if you want to keep your tofu for a long time you need to have it soak in water and leave it in the refrigerator not in the freezer okay so this is my tofu all refried i slice it in small pieces so i'm going to put this <clears throat> in my vegetarian's mixture for uh my daughter's boyfriend he doesn't eat meat so that's for him and the other <clears throat> The other batch is for us with the pork. Before you uh, can wrap your egg rolls, you need one egg. You probably thought, oh, why she needs that egg? She didn't put any of the eggs in the ingredient. The egg is to seal your egg rolls. Now, some people may not use the eggs. They use, you know, the flowers in water and, you know, mix it and then use it as a base to seal it. But an easy way to do so, you just need one egg. You do not need a lot, okay? No matter how many egg rolls you going to roll one x would just be enough okay so here's the package that i'm using uh this is the one that you can use however could you grab that too baby so that people have an option and also you could also use this brand here they're the same however i just want to let you know some egg rolls packages um it may the colors of the egg rolls could be slightly different one might be lighter um, than the others meaning the egg rolls once it cooked one might be a little golden brown, the other might still be white. And as long as the egg roll float to the top, it's cooked, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to roll. Here's the egg roll. Wrapping paper. You need to take it, you know, one at a time. Be gentle. Mm -hmm. Be gentle with it, you don't want to rip it. So here you have like a, a square. What I do is that you make it like a pointing to to you okay one end pointing to you the other end pointing to another person you take that your ingredients all the things that you have this one here is for the vegan people with the tofu i already mix everything together okay when you rolled make sure you try to put all the ingredient in one end and then you roll and then as you are rolling it make sure you try to tighten it okay make it tight and then once you come to the middle then you fold it the edge inside just like that then you continue to roll okay keep it nice and straight and firm so that when you roll it to the end here's the end you just take the egg dab it a little bit put on the end and then you put it on your wrapping paper then you put face down so that the wrapping paper will stay you know, seal, and then you do another one. Now I'm going to show you how to cook the pork, the grounded pork that we got from the store. And you know, like each um, package is, this one is like 3.29 pounds. So I'm gonna use all of them to do my egg rolls, okay? So as you could see, I have my frying pan. You do the stir fry the same way that you would do any kind of stir fry. As you could see, I am stirring my garlic, making sure that it's gonna turn a light brown before I put my pork. With this here, you don't have to put a lot of the ingredients because all the ingredients are gonna go into the bowl with all of the ingredients that you are going to roll into an egg roll. I just want to make sure that I cook the grounded pork before I put into my Okay, as you see, the pork 
uh, the grounded pork is like you know partly cooked but not yet so you just put the salt this is like a, a spoon and a half of salt and your pepper the grounded pepper put it in and stir until it's cooked as you can see once the pork is cooked the you know the meat is lighter the one that's not cooked it's still red okay so keep on stirring keep on tossing until they all cook thoroughly before you put into your uh, egg rolls mixture okay so with your two bulks of onions I mean two onions you're gonna have to slice it and put it in the pot uh, so that you will cook this way if you are as sensitive as me uh, you know your eyes might be water because of the raw onion so what I do is I cook my onion in there so that when I am rolling it my eyes will not be teary because I'm very sensitive This has been cooked over uh, six minutes already with the grounded pork and onions. Once you are done with this, let it cool down just slightly because you are going to transfer this cooked pork with onion into your bowl so that you can mix everything together so that you can roll, okay? Even though it's still steamy, hot, however, when you transfer that, this cooked, you know, stir-fried pork with onion into your other ingredients that you already have, your taro, your black fungus, your <clears throat> uh, cabbage, sliced cabbage and all, it will cool down. And then yes, you will have to mix everything together. And you just look at the um, stir fries. If you don't need to put all of it, leave it because you can actually do some other things with the stir fry that you just did. Okay, so here's all my ingredients. Now I'm gonna put the rest of the other ingredients in, okay? This is the sugar. This is about <clears throat> uh, four spoonful of sugar. And here's my uh, soup base, uh, the chicken soup base that many of you may already have it at home. Put that in, okay? And then you are gonna just mix them. So you continue to mix, you know, with all the um, clear noodle in there, the tamasu, mushroom uh, all everything is mixed together so if it's hard for you to use the spoon you can use your hand okay so with me you know your hands once you have washed your hands you are clean and you know a real cook at home we use our hands okay and yes in the restaurant people use glove and stuff like that but in our own household, you could use your hands. Just make sure you wash your hands thoroughly. So all of the ingredients in there, you just mix them really well, okay? So making sure that you mix them. These are the two packages that you could use. Hi, Busan Bang Po Na Chang Te Egg Rolls. Yeng Pra Mui Na Ka Ban Na Sra Pa Mu Vien Nga Ah Mui Ni Ka Ban Ma Ni Ka Ban Ru Mui Ma Ni Ka Ban. So. I decided, you know, just want to let you know when you go to the stores, when you see varieties of wrapping papers for the egg rolls, you know, it's okay. You can use either one, okay? So I'm going to show you how to wrap. And the eggs, of course, right here, just crack the eggs, put it in the <coughs> little bowl. And then when you take out your wrapping paper, okay, the egg roll wrapping paper, it's going to stick together. That's fine. But it's easily, you can peel them very easily. Put them down, okay, with like the square. Of course, it's a square. But then you just put like a diamond shape, one point to the front and one point to you. And then here's your egg roll mixture. Put it on the edge of your side. And then when you start to roll, okay, you take the front side first. And then you start to 
move it, roll it. But once you are rolling, make sure you try to tighten it or firm it, okay, as you roll it to the center. Once you hit the center, then you take both of the side, the left and the right hand side, and fold it in and roll it. And then as you are rolling forward, make sure it is firmed and tight. Okay, not to the point where it's gonna rip. Just make sure it's firm and tight and sealed. Once you are to the edge, you take the egg yolk or the eggs from your little bowl, dab it a little bit in the corner and put it there. See, you sealed it with the eggs. And when you lay it down on a plate, you want the edge where you sealed in the bottom so that it will stay still. Then you continue the process of rolling. Alright guys, I'm gonna try to roll the egg rolls myself so you guys can see. I have a plate that I'm just gonna wipe because it's really wet. Uh, right now, but you grabbing need a, a plate because that's not big enough. Grabbing a egg roll shell. Egg roll shell. So grabbing my egg roll shell, you gotta be very careful when you peel this off. You gotta make sure you are gentle because if you do it with force, you can rip right through the egg roll shell. My mom was right, I do need a bigger plate, but I'll be all right for the one demonstration I'm gonna do for you guys right now. Grabbing some of the mixed insides of the egg roll in a spoon, okay? Placing it right at the very top of my diamond bottom. And then I am... <laughs> rolling it you want to make sure that you roll it extra tight this is something that i am terrible at so i'm rolling it and then when i get to the middle this is when i fold it almost like an envelope you want it to make it look like an envelope right here you guys see that it looks like a little envelope and then you roll it some more here i go roll 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 your egg roll <laughs> gently down the plate and there you go, guys. And then you get your egg yolk. You dab some of it onto the tippity top. And that's how you make the egg roll. I did a good job, right? Mm -hmm. This is actually tight. Okay, good. See, a good job. If, just want to let you know, if for whatever reason your egg roll shells is ripped, don't panic, don't throw it away, okay? This is what I want to show you. Don't throw away, just take another wrapping paper, okay? Because, oh, because you'll rip it here and there, especially for beginners, and that's fine. And that's, you know, that's process of learning. So, here's what you need to do with your ripped egg roll, with your new, okay? your new wrapping paper take your rip egg roll put it in okay and then just wrap it around and yes when you are frying it it will be fine because both of the shells will get cooked okay and plus the inside you don't have to worry about it because you already cooked the meat in there so you don't need to worry okay just wrap your egg rolls nice and neat okay and voila your ripped egg roll now become a nice egg roll that you could have. Now I just want to show you these are the ones that are uncooked and it's already finished rolling. We finished rolling them, okay? So I have plenty of the egg rolls that my daughters and I made together, rolled together. So I just want to recommend uh, a few things, okay? Now, can you give me the other one? Between these two brands of the egg roll shells, okay, I would prefer this one over this one. So this one, uh, for whatever reason, uh, the egg rolls, when you, uh, the wrapping papers, is a lot better, meaning it doesn't uh, rip as easily. So make sure, okay, if you cannot find this one, okay, then you could use this one. But if you see the two placed together in a freezer in the, the supermarket, 
I would recommend, highly recommend to use this one, okay? So here's the thing. Uh, once you have your egg rolls made and you want to store them in the freezers, what I would recommend is that you would lay them flat, nice and neat, okay, in a plastic bag, okay? Make sure that they are not, okay, make sure that they are not sticking to each other. Once it's dry, you can put them in a plastic bag, okay? And then you would have to lay them flat on in your freezer so that they will stay in a nice form. Since you have rolled the egg rolls, you want to take some to fry them. So I'm going to take some to fry in the deep frying pans that I have. So you get to see. Here's my frying pans with the oil in it. And of course it's really hot, okay? So to see whether you have the oils really hot, you want to try to test one with just one. When you put in, you could see the egg roll start to sizzle, okay? Then you can start putting the rest in one by one slowly. And the reason why you want to wait until the oil is really hot for you to fry is that when you put it in and the oil is still cool, your uh, egg roll is going to be soggy and it's not good, okay? So you don't want to put in the egg rolls when the oil is not hot. So this is about seven minutes into the frying, of course. The egg roll is now already float up. All of them are, up, you know, already floated. So then you can take them out, okay? As you could see, one of them, I guess it's the different one of the wrapper that I use. See how it's very gold, it's golden brown? Whereas the others, is still very light. It's okay. The reason is because it's different brands. That's why I said, depending on which um, egg roll shells you want to use, this one was the, the other one, and this one is the other that I showed you. So their shell is slightly different colors when it's cooked, so that's okay. So we're gonna test, uh, taste test it. Here's the egg rolls that I fried earlier to show you. Taste test, oh, give me that baby. Now, Here's what I want you to know. And with our egg rolls, you can eat it without dipping. However, if you prefer, if you want the dip sauce for the egg rolls, I would recommend this, this bottle brand, okay? It says, you know, May Plow, and it's sweet chili sauce. And there are others, uh, bottles or other brands. You could use whatever, but my recommendation is this one. Okay, here's egg roll. After you, you, after you fry it, of course, you have to leave it for a couple minutes before you can taste it because it would be too hot and gonna burn your tongue, your mouth, okay? Mmm, the crunchy there. And there's the egg roll. Everything cooked inside and very crispy. So you could use the sauce to dip it. Mm -mm. So, I hope you will try to make the egg rolls at home with your families, with your friends, and enjoy. And make sure to hit subscribe and hit like and share for my daughter's, you know, Jan Tabby's videos, more videos, okay? Bye! Alright guys, that is the end of my egg roll video. If you enjoyed that, please make sure you give it a thumbs up down below, like my mom said, because if you do, right, we're gonna make more egg rolls. I said egg rolls. <laughs> I meant egg rolls. That is the end to my egg rolls video. I hope you guys enjoyed and like my mom said, give it a thumbs up because when we see that, that means you want more videos with my mama in it. Um, if you want all the ingredients, I will put it down like, in the description below. There are some ingredients that we didn't mention, like for example, the dipping sauce that we use with our egg rolls and a different kind of brands for our egg roll wrappers. Mm -hmm. So make sure you subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys later. Bye.